City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. It's that time of year for the annual Drunk and Distracted Driving Real-Time Exercise. This year, Papillion La Vista South High School hosted the event that includes multi-agency cooperation. The local VA debuts a program aimed at getting veterans needing assisted living into local homes. And new businesses continue to keep downtown Papillion strong and vibrant. You'll meet the newest members of the Papillion business community. City Happenings for the week of April 21st is next. Thanks, Mayor Black. The annual distracted driving exercise made its point to high school students about drunk or distracted driving. Using student actors, this is as real as it gets. It's sobering, really. You don't realize how much really goes through the, the minds of these kids. And I just hope people learn that. Just don't do it. It's not worth it at all. Well, my brother was actually involved in the last one, and I knew I wanted to be a part of it because it was such a great opportunity to educate kids and show them what the consequences are of drinking and driving, and I just really, really wanted to be a part of it. There's even a fatal victim, which is the point of this, and then there's the dead student's parent, who in this case is the victim's real-life mother. <laughs> Don't do what they did, because that's what this is about, is teaching them don't ever let your parents come up to a scene like this. As soon as I read the script, I knew it was me because I'm so emotional about these kids and I love them so much. Professionally, the training doesn't get any more real. No, it sure doesn't. It's so realistic. And to have to see the real tears coming out of parents' eyes with even the thought that they may have just lost their child to something that could absolutely be prevented. This is superb real-time training for the city's fire department. We practice cutting cars apart a lot, uh, but it's not very often that we actually extricate somebody from them, especially in a practice situation. So here we've got uh, almost a real-life scenario with actors. The kids did a great job in, in acting out their roles. We've got a victim we actually need to pull out of the vehicle, so we have to care for that victim while we're getting them out. It, it's great practice in that sense. It's about as close to a real thing as we can possibly get. The more practice we get, the more real life practice we get, or close to real life practice we get, the better we're going to get in a real situation. So we, we really love being involved in these kind of activities. Number one, it's great for the students to see this. And then number two, it provides some excellent opportunities for us to practice our skills. The Veterans Administration works to take care of our military veterans. A new program has come to this area. Medical Foster Home Program is looking for caregivers in the community who can provide care for our veterans, um, both young and old, because we have a number of veterans who are returning from Iraq who are not able to live independently. And instead of having these veterans go into a nursing home, we're wanting these veterans to be able to remain in the community, remain in a family setting, um, and be cared for by family members, whether they're their family by blood or family just by um, relationship of bonding and getting to know each other. There were two social workers in Arkansas um, back in 2000 who wanted an alternative for our veterans so that they didn't have to go to a nursing home. So it actually was a brainstorm from just two social workers um, who shared their idea with leadership and it's progressed now through nationwide um, with the goal of having it in every state. It's wonderful. I can speak um, to it because I actually was the coordinator in Florida and we had eight homes with um, seven veterans placed and it everyone was happy the veterans were happy the caregivers were happy it gave them a sense of giving back to the community back to the veteran um, it also gave them supplemental income to help them you know get through their um, times and the veteran had an immediate family. They didn't have to be in a nursing home with multiple caregivers coming in and out of their room um, with no real relationship, more of a job. So they were thrilled to be in a family setting and not have to be in a nursing home. The past two months has seen three business ribbon cuttings in the middle of downtown. You talk about an investment in a community and somebody who's really gotten involved in a community and become part of it. Uh, I don't know if you had an association with Papillion before this building or not, but uh, you definitely are part of the community and the, both the business community, I know you've already given back to some other organizations, 
Um, and we talk about good, good and great businesses and how great businesses are part of the community and, and uh, not only the investment you've done downtown. Um, and the Downtown Business Association is here. I think they can talk a lot about what you have actually done for downtown to help spark that development. Uh, a lot of great things going down here, on down here, and uh, you guys are a major, major, major part of it. So on behalf of a grateful city, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is one of the bigger ribbon cuttings we've had, so you guys are popular already. Um, had a chance to visit with them already and learn some of the backstory, and it's just great having local Papillion people have a dream, open up a local business, uh, and it, that's fun to watch. And uh, I think you'd already shared, you've already had a lot of traffic in here. Hopefully it's exceeded your expectations even a little bit as far as what's come in. Um, but. Um, the, the downtown area is a lot of revitalization with new businesses just in the last year. And a lot of credit goes to the, to the downtown merchants themselves. They came together almost a year ago and created a historical downtown Pavilion Business Association. And uh, so for the merchants can start sharing amongst themselves and growing the business down here. And I think it's that which is really why this was a hardware store for 33 years. And I think it was only vacant for three months maybe, uh, when you guys came along. And I give a lot of credit to the Downtown Business Association. So I want to thank you guys. Actually do it. Actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're just real excited. Um, there's a lot been going, a lot of vision about downtown. And I think the last couple of years, it's taken on a different feel and a different life. We've got a lot of great old time businesses down here. Uh, but then there have been some vacancy too, so we've been starting to see some new businesses come in. And some have been startups, but to actually have existing businesses purposely choose to locate down here, uh, that's an exciting thing, because you guys know what your clientele is. It brings new clientele down here. And I think one of the exciting things is it reuses an old building that's very historic. It's a pretty cool building, take time to look around. Um, but you've repurposed a little bit, you got the new and the old, so a little bit of what we got downtown too and uh, just want to welcome you and um, in the last year there was also the the businesses down here came together we got a great neighborhood of small businesses and so the historical downtown papillion business association formed just over a year ago and you guys are able have already engaged with that as well and they're great uh, chamber partners one two three cut Yay! <laughs> We encourage you to take advantage of Papillion's great park systems. There's also many city-sponsored events coming up. There's the Farmer's Market, the Summer Events at Sumter, and the Recreational Sports Leagues. There's lots to do in Papillion, and there are many ways to stay up to date with what's happening. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org. Or we'll just call the mayor's hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.